so, so Jill, you know, again, crossing Jordan, you know, law and order. I mean, those are two memorable roles that you've been a part of. Um, you know, this is, this is something completely different. And so what really drew you to this character? Oh, wow. Um, well, first of all, I uh, got an audition, you know, from my, my manager. And he's like, ah, oh, you got to check this script out. You know, I'm, I'm not going to tell you anything, but, man, it's about something that you, you really care about. So, uh, so I, I read it. And uh, it, one of the best, bar none, one of the best scripts I read, uh, be it for film, be it for television, uh, Reggie Rock Bythewood and Gina Prince Bythewood managed to write something for so many characters uh, from so many different points of view without ever verging into cliche and stereotypes and dehumanizing these people. Um, so I, you know, off the bat, I was kind of blown away. And, uh, you know, I went into audition and, you know, it's, it's, as an actor, you're lucky to get a job, okay? Right. You know, you're always playing, oh, I hope I get a job, you know? Uh, and they're few and far between. And, uh, but when you get a job about an issue that you care about, that hasn't been spoken enough about, that needs to be put out there, it's it's a gift from heaven, right? So, uh, you know, I auditioned and I don't hear anything. <laughs> you know, I'm like, they hated me, they don't like me, what's going on? And uh, it's what I found out. That was everybody. That was, oh, really? okay, okay. I feel better now, thank you, Twilight. <laughs> thank you. And, uh, but what I found, I was, I was so thrilled, so thrilled. I mean, that's one of the reasons that I'm here, Dewan is here. Um, you know, I, I've never met a, a group of people who were so committed to, to the subject matter of a project. And then every day, man, every day, we, we come to set and, uh, you know, it, with, with heart, you know, with, our, with hope. And, you know, part of my research was, you know, just listening to parents, watching interviews with them. Like you said, Dewanda, these are people who did not choose a spotlight, man, and yet, you know, they're going on talk shows and they're being asked very personal, very uncomfortable questions <laughs> and, uh, and they're being scrutinized. Um, so I, I, would, I would just watch as much as I could listen to the words of, of Mike Brown Sr. And, and Jordan Davis's parents and, and Tamir Rice's mom and, and Mike Brown's parents. I mean, and, and you can't help, but I mean, just all you have to do is listen. All you have to do is listen, you know? Yeah, that's, that's true.